but <laughs> it's a bit snug. Yeah, I don't know. Oh dear. Well, welcome to 2024. Um, no. um, the weather's um, not windy at all today, but uh, <laughs> first time in weeks. Exactly, but at least it's calm. So we can get on with uh, boat jobs, and I'm afraid to say, as always, there are plenty of those, aren't there, Beverly? Yes, I mean, the truth of the matter is that if you live aboard, there, or maybe even if you don't live aboard, there are always boat jobs to be done no matter what you're doing. It's not all about going out sailing, I wish it was. But, you know, the diesel heater needs pulled for service. It was smoking away this morning, making a lot of smoke screens. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get on with uh, doing the water. <laughs> And I tell you now, the decks are so green, it's ridiculous. Yeah, weeks of rain and wind and rain and wind and rain. And basically, there's all sorts of green stuff growing on the boat. So I'm going to be getting on with the water and the scrubbing. And Beverly's going to scrub the ever. <laughs> I am. <laughs> and then there's other little jobs like light switches that have broke, hatch buttons that have broken, need fixing. I mean, this just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? Yeah, they're not very big jobs, but... It's one of those things that you just have to get on with them and um, do it, really. Anyway, now that we're in 2024, um, we're going to start the year by just um, saying special thank you to everybody who has um, given us little things like cards and gifts and, uh, and whatnots. Um, we've had some spectacular things. Those who know us very, very well have supplied plenty of this stuff. Oh, yes. You know, and a special shout out to uh, James Canslick. Thank you very much for um, that particular <laughs> bunch of bottles. That, that was going down very well. <laughs> it certainly is. Other gifts uh, that we received, but this is from me and Bev, is I got a fid. Yes, Woo! and why did you get a fid? Because I dropped, dropped the other one over the side. <laughs> <laughs> one of the many things I dropped. And the other thing I got um, was stubby screwdrivers. Because when you're working around the engine, there's quite often not a lot of space for a big spanner. Uh, so uh, I'm really pleased with those little gifts uh -huh. which we got ourselves. Yeah. But like I say, the best gift was the wine. Oh yes, and other people supplied us with wine too. And thank you very much. That was appreciated too. And it is still going down well and will be for weeks to come. Yeah, because we don't get through it that quick. <laughs> in, in spite of what everybody thinks. Yeah. But obviously, with um, being the time of year, it being January, there's no sailing going on or minimal sailing, certainly no cruising. Mm. So what we're going to do is go back to an old tried and tested technique that we've used before, and that is to reinstitute viewer question of the week. Now, because it's the start of the year, you've still got plenty of time to give us some questions. Uh, because we love answering questions and giving you some feedback. We've already had a few submitted, haven't we? We have, but uh, to make 12 episode, we need a few more, I'm afraid. We need a few more. But anyway, we're going to start with um, a little one this week, which will be on rafting. It's a subject that comes up from time to time together with harbour walls. Um, we might combine the two, actually. I don't know, but we're doing starting with rafting. rafting. That's for sure. We're definitely <laughs> starting with rafting. So... We're going to get on with our boat jobs and um, we're going to leave you to um, our knowledge of rafting. Some of this was filmed when we were out on our cruise, so I hope you enjoy it. And all the best for 2024. At its simplest, rafting is what happens when there are more boats than spaces on a pontoon that can fit them in. Simply put, Choose a boat of bigger or similar size to yours and come alongside it gently and tie up to it. Although we covered rafting versus harbour walls in an earlier video, we did not explain why you might choose or need to raft. Rafting may be your only choice. Few harbours will let you drop anchor inside them and there may be no moorings available. For instance, at Arklow there is a limited area of pontoon with a useful depth and yet a lot of boats stop at Arklow. There are not a lot of places on that coast that a yacht can get into so it is not unusual to have way more boats than places to put them. Before tying up, heal the other boat and see if anyone's aboard and if there is, ask if they mind. If no one is aboard, then you can always tie up and ask them when they return but be prepared to move. Oh, 
Well, one major disadvantage of uh, rafting is that you have got to be ready to go when the boat on the inside wants to go. So Beverly and I are up and dressed uh, because the boat that we're rafted to um, wants the south going tide. And of course, that's six hours earlier than the tide that we want, which is going north. So uh, it's something like just after five. And uh, yeah, we're up and dressed. And um, all we're looking for and late waiting for is there's a boat uh, that's ahead of them that's supposed to be moving at five. They haven't started moving yet, but we're waiting for their engine to start. And as soon as we hear their engine starting, we'll be up out of the hatch like little jackrabbits. We're not really hearing much movement from the boat we are rafted to. No, I mean, so they're supposed to be going in about half an hour and I've not even seen anybody on deck. I've gone and looked a couple of times, you know, but there's no point in us moving if they're not shifting around, you know, so I don't know what's going on, but we're ready. Well, we had organised ourselves to uh, film us uh, moving the boat this morning, but it was one of those cases of uh, we were waiting, we were waiting and waiting, and then all of a sudden it was all action, all, we have to go now, and it's like... Brrr! The other crew weren't really that bothered about being filmed, they just wanted to go. Yeah, they just wanted to go, so we just had to get on with it and, and basically allow them to get off. So we walked the boat forward um, and now we've just walked the boat back and uh, got her all tidy so that when it's the north going tide, we're ready to go. Okay, so uh, Beverly and I have um, rafted here at uh, Arklo and um, it's not the only place that we've rafted throughout the season. We were rafted to another boat at Yall. Um, we've had to raft in other places. We've had boats rafted to us, like for instance when we were in Cork, we had another boat rafted to us. So uh, we just thought we'd take this opportunity to give you some hints and tips on rafting. Um, first of all... Don't do it when there's geese about. <laughs> don't do it when there's geese about, they're rather noisy. <laughs> Never mind. But first of all, you have to have your fenders high. Um, when you're rafting to another boat, um, those fenders need to be as high as you can make them. Um, put as many fenders as you can in around the bulge. And if you have any stubby fat ones, put those in. But put plenty of fenders between you and the boat next to you. You know, that's where you need your fenders. Um, Come along the side very nice and calmly because you can't hook on in the normal way. Um, Beverly came up side, on side this particular boat that we were rafted on very nicely and I was able to just hook us on uh, to their middle cleat and we sorted ourselves out from there with all the lines. Um, but once you've got those lines on, the initial lines on, you've got to put on your harbour lines or your longer lines because it's unfair on the boat that's all, that you're rafted to, to for them to take all the weight. Um, also, if you think about it, the cleats that they're attached to are now taking the weight of two boats and they're not necessarily designed for that. So what you do is you put on your harbour lines, your longer lines, um, as well as the lines to uh, the other boat. But it's the harbour lines which have to take the weight of the boat. So uh, another tip, of course, is um, make sure that the boat that you're rafting to is bigger than you are. Um, we have seen one particular instance where a bigger boat rafted to a smaller boat and um, what happened in that particular case was um, there was adverse tide happened 
and uh, the boat on the inside actually um, got damaged um, purely because the bigger boat can take more strain, a lot more weight and the little boat in the inside just couldn't tack it so do make sure that you are wrapped to a bigger boat uh, if you do have to raft to a smaller boat, uh, which can happen, then try and look for things like um, harder wearing boats, like Moody's are pretty hard wearing and a few other boats um, are quite hard wearing. So look for those. Um, but the other thing that you need to consider when rafting is consideration for other people. So Beverly and I, when we rafted, we came forward as far as we could go uh, just in case somebody else needed to raft behind us. And shock horror, somebody did come in behind, but at least they had somewhere to raft to. And where we are here at Arklo, um, it looks like there's plenty of room up river for us to raft, but there isn't because we just don't have the depth here. Um, there's a boat called Blade Runner and um, it's on a trot mooring and literally where that trot mooring is is about as far as we can go on the depth. Um, we're okay today uh, because we're on a neap so we don't have as low a tide but if we were on a spring even this position would be un untenable really. Um, is there any other tints and tips you've got for rafting Bev? Yes. Oh yeah. Make sure you have coffee afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another hint and tip on rafting, which I've just remembered, is if you can, um, you should raft nose to tail. But in reality, that doesn't always happen. Like for instance, um, in this, in where we are now, Arklo, the river is the main thing that you need to consider. And it is a lot better putting your nose towards the river than anything else. So as I say, if you can wrap nose to tail, then do so. But if you can't, don't sweat it. Are you for real? <laughs> Virgin with my little tray full of scalpels, forceps, retractors. Quick nurse, take his leg off. But the job's, you've got it out now. I've got it out now, so now it's just a case of cleaning. 